Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls uh, Part 4 or something, yes, or probably part 4 uh, Now then, we'll begin with killing this guy And then I'll show you here This is the ladder which you uh, sh would get up from If you took the lower path uh, and got behind the dragon Although then this gate would be closed so it's better to just open it in the beginning and no wait a minute before I get up there there's a another black knight with a much more giant sword so before we do that we'll um... oh shit come on there we go yep I knew you would be there you bastard uh, we'll first take out this place of um, guys, really. Bam! Then hit these guys. Wait, 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 wait. Bam! Strong attack so they don't fall off. Bam! Strong attack and then finish them off. There we go. Pick up the alluring skulls. So you can, um, okay, right, they automatically do that. So you can throw them down, and they will lure certain enemies towards them, and in this case, it's the boar. Why the fuck are you acting like this? Because you're supposed to go towards the fire and die. Please, good lord. Just run towards the fire, you asshole. Please, just run. Thanks. Burn. I'll toss another one, I guess. There we go. Dead you are. Die. Amazing. Now, that strategy, we will use it on... No, wait a minute, I don't think we need to actually. I remembered what I usually do and that's just the same thing with the Black Knight, only actually up here. Because there's a little platform that he will be in, which I usually use to just strafe around and attack him. Although he freaking heard me, I'm pretty sure somewhat so it sound like that at least hey can I get the drop of him? yes I can holy crap should maybe not have done that don't know can I heal? oh yes I can perfect I'm not gonna drop down on you again no thanks. All right, and once time, uh, one one time, I started combat with him, ran all the way down the tower again, and down into the street part, and he actually dropped down and try and plunge and tried to plunge attack me, a plunging attack me. That was a bit scary, really, that time. But um, yeah. Apparently did like here, which you can see drops right down there. Oh, fuck! Thank goodness that I had invincibility frames. No thanks. Nope. Thank you. Thank you for the backstab and goodbye to your life. Okay, I didn't get his weapon though doesn't don't need it either way so let's run down again there we go and um did you like respawn or something because you weren't there before die all right or maybe you like went down here and then went to your normal spawn place again. Ouch. Ouch. Die, please. Alright. Uh, 
No, nope, okay, I guess he was the ambush. Normally, like, there's one guy who's run who runs up, and that's him. And he will, in order for you to follow him. Fuck. Screw you guys. I'm not gonna die to the likes of you. Even though I was really fucking close to it. But if I did, then I would look like a noob. And I don't want that, really. Mystery key. Does this have anything really important to say? Oops. There. The purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this has... Sturdy design of the locks in the burg keep out unwanted visitors. Uh, key to the inner door of the undead asylum main hall. Big key belonging to the to a chosen undead pilgrim, but this key but this chosen undead knows not what this pilgrimage has in store. Interesting. Uh, the undead is a the undead asylum is a giant undead prison segmented by con countless iron bars. Even if an undead were to escape from a cell, from a cell, passage to the outside world would not be gained easily. Nope, unless a giant crow carries you in its claws and transports you here, then no, not really. There it happens again. Where? What the hell is that? No, I'm serious. What? What? I. It. It has. To, I'm pretty sure at this point it has to do about. It has something to do with it being online. Oops. What is? But I have no idea. What? Wait a minute. I gained an Estus flask. I noticed that right now. Again, an Estus flask. Um, I will need to look this up, really, because I have no idea what's actually happening. Why I'm gaining these? S S why I gained the Estus flask, really, and why that happens? It probably has to do with something like a player doing something, or something. <laughs> Backstab. Boom. These guys are bald knights, kind of. These particular ones, it's a bit are a bit annoying because they can parry you. Although they will go into a special stance, which is pretty easy to uh, see because they like point their sword forward. So don't attack them there then, unless it's like a jump attack. Because I don't think you can, or maybe you can actually. I don't know. Uh, either way, don't don't attack them really, unless you're sure about it. Normal normal attacks and strong attacks will make them parry you, but not um, jump attacks, I think. And these are normal bal balder balder knights. Uh, their equipment isn't too good looking really, but their shield. Oh please God, let me let that be their shield. Because the shield is really good. Okay, I get a Titanite Shard. Oh. Either way, that's good as well. Uh, but the shield, but the shield is uh, really good. Actually, it's probably if you get it, it's probably a shield you can uh, go with throughout the whole game. Uh, there are better. There are better, of course. But you know, it's it's really good uh, either way. These guys' shields are also also pretty okay. Bam! Stab. Stab. Oh, stab. Oh, I got another humanity. In there is some. It's an enemy called a Baronic Knight, I think, or Baronic Knight. They are huge, have huge shields, and have a massive mace, which they will attack you with. And it will hurt. And they're not really supposed like the location. They're not really supposed to be here. I think maybe maybe not. But anyway, let's repair the equipment and go talk to uh, I guess 
and the second blacksmith, which is the only one that has lip syncing, which is pretty interesting. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of a store route. If you require something, then speak to me. Or like, well, lip syncing, I don't know, lip movements at least. And this guy, uh, blacksmith, you will need to go to blacksmiths in order to ascend your weapons, which means like if you want to go to from 5 to 6 then you will have to go to blacksmith and if you have to go from mm, 10 to 11 you will have to go to blacksmith uh, otherwise the 0 to 5 and 6 to 10 is uh, you can do on your own but wait a minute, we can learn the hurrah gesture from him and then we'll check what he has. He has the weaponsmith box, which is pretty good, so you can put, uh, upgrade your weapons. He has more arrows to sell, so I guess I'll buy some. First 20 and then how many can I actually buy? Okay, so let's buy up to 50 then. Here we go. And then I'll get you neither of them. Nope. Um then I'll see I have a soul there, so let's use it. That's not enough for I think this will almost be enough for the uh, armor smith box. So let's sit down here then, and I will, I guess I'll go and kill the, the, I'll kill the soldiers again, and then I'll go kill the uh, Burn Eye Knight, which is actually guarding another Bonfire Keeper soul, so you can upgrade your Estus Flask to uh, plus two. Okay, we'll backstab them. Dead. Bam. Bam. Come on. Don't mess this. At least not like that, because that's just stupid. Yep, you will have to go in here, and there he is. But you should probably not fight him in here. You should probably lure him out, out here because there's a lot more room out here and these guys are really dangerous ouch, well kind of and I don't think you can backstab these guys but you can bleed them which is really good like that so yeah pretty easy if you do it like that and get a Titan chart. And now we'll collect the uh, the soul, Firekeeper soul. Okay, just called Firekeeper soul. And then I guess we can kill this this Chandler up here. These are pretty dangerous if you uh, let them do their special dance. We we'll call it like that. If you call it that their dance with that weapon, which if you get the weapon and drop from them, you can do the dance yourself. It it um, boosts, uh, what's it called, it buffs the um, enemies around them, or like allies from their point of view at least, So and themselves, so yeah, it's pretty deadly. And we will meet a few more, one more in the depths, with which is the area before Blight Town, and um, one or not one, several in one of the four main areas after like halfway of the game. Whoop! No thanks. I guess I'll have to let him heal them. Let's try and get off a parry from on one of these. Okay, it's not. Let's not get off parry. Let's heal behind this, and then block, and then bop, please, come on, 
I don't want to die from you. Nope. Nope. Fuck you guys. Heal. Fuck. Oh, come on. How can I be so bad? Okay, there we go. Kill that guy. Okay, he walled by me apparently. No, please. Hey, screw you. There we go. Perfect. Alright, no, I guess uh, first we'll um, go and activate it. Oh, yes, perfect. We go and activate that so there's a shortcut down to the Firelink Shrine. Thing was called, yes, uh, Firelink Shrine. And now we've got into the other side of the gate before where we can pick up the halberd which is pretty interesting it has a really fun uh, strong attack which it's like a spin which hits all the enemies around them and now we can open the gates so we don't have to run around like that if we ever I don't know, go back to the area. Um, and now I guess we'll go back first and we'll buy the armor box. We'll level up. I think we have enough for that at least. And then do we have another like... Nope. Uh, well, well, we'll begin with that, and then we'll see what uh, what we do. So first, go down here, and buy the thingamajig. Well, you seem to need anything. So, bye. Thank you. Don't get yourself. No, 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 I won't. What the hell? Go up. Go. There we go. Um, or no, I think we should. Uh, I'm gonna reinforce my witch katana. Two plus two, I think. Uh, yep. I can still level up. Perfect. So, maybe I should get a bit more health, or more strength, I don't know. Uh, let's go to Dexterity 20. And now, I guess we'll go, we'll go back to uh, the Bonfire Keeper through the shortcut and uh, reinforce our Estus 2 plus 2. And then we can... I don't know what will what I will do if I'm gonna go fight the first main boss or go to an optional area. I'm probably gonna be doing that in the next part either way, so I'll see then. So probably the end of this episode will be me going back to um, to the bonfire keeper. Oh, and um, right now we can access the first... There are two optional areas in this game, um, which in order to get to the second one you have to have gone to the first to the first one. Which, uh, in order, uh, I guess I can uh, I can show you... Oh no, I, I'll do that when I, when I want to go there, at least. I'm still gonna keep in, in ignoring you, you asshole. I don't want nothing to do with you. We'll rest here. And then... Alright, um... I guess I'll mention this. Um, each new bonfire will only restore your bonfire up to 5. 
uh, five um, bon Estus flasks. Uh, unless you, um, what's called, kindle the bonfire. And you need to be human in order to kindle bonfires, so you need to reverse hollowing, become human, and then kindle the bonfire once on a new one. You can only do that, I think. You might be able to kindle. Um, I don't know, because um, the boss in the catacombs drops an item, which is called the bonfire ritual or something like that. I don't know, um, which lets you kindle the bonfire uh, more times, so you will get up to 20. Estus flasks, but I remember if you need that to uh, get 50 or 50, it's a huge amount. Um, 15, or if you just need it to get 20, or if you need it twice to get 20, I don't know. But either way, I think I'll stop for now, and um, next time I'll see if I'll go and do the first main boss in the church or if I'll go to uh, the optional area. See you in the next part.